Hello everyone, Will and Alex here, and today we're going to go through a quick itinerary for Chesky Krumlov, a fairy tale town located in southwestern Czech Republic. We visited during the off season in late February, which was great because there were less crowds and we knew that the shops that were open were likely owned and operated by locals. We also stayed for the weekend, giving us a chance to explore in the evenings without the day trippers around. If you're combining this trip with Prague, we've got an itinerary video for that that I'll link below. First up, getting there. You can take the direct train or the bus from Prague, which will take about three hours. You can book your tickets ahead of time online. The train station at Chesky Krumlov is about a 10 minute walk to the town center. We drove our car to Chesky Krumlov and parked it here in the P2 parking lot. But as you can see, there are a lot of paid parking spots outside the town center. Your hotel can probably recommend where to park. Speaking of that, where we stayed. Staying in the town center is ideal, although more expensive than options outside town. We stayed at Pension Rose Marina and they were super nice. We really liked our view of the clock tower. I've also stayed at the Krumlov house forever ago. There are a lot of hostels and more affordable pension options in Chesky Krumlov. Things to do. Castle tours. There are six different tours of the castle and the castle complex. Each have different opening hours and dates, so it's best to check their website before you go. You can also make reservations and buy your tickets online ahead of time. The most expensive ticket you'll buy is for the Baroque Castle Theater at $13. One great thing to do around Chesky Krumlov is to go to a viewpoint and get a perfect picture. There are a lot of good viewpoints and I will leave a link below that lists them all. If you're not wanting to walk very far, you have a couple of options. The first would be to pay a small fee to go up into the castle tower. The castle grounds themselves also have very good views and are free to enter. Go to the cloak bridge. If you go slightly past there, you'll get even better views too. In the garden between the second and third courtyards, you'll find a balcony with great views. On the other side, you can walk to this public park called Seminarni Zarada. <laughs> In the links below, they list some other options if you don't mind walking 20 to 40 minutes. Another thing to do is to take a free city walking tour. We took the one advertised on the town's official website. We thought it was well done and that the tour guide gave us good recommendations of events that were happening in different restaurants to try. He actually told us about a food festival that was happening that day. There was a lot of mystery meat involved. <laughs> Rafting. On summer days, you can raft the Vltava River and get a different viewpoint of all the amazing scenery. I've done the T1, or the city cruise, which is only one to two hours long and focuses on the historical center of Chesky Krumlov. I think this runs about $15 a person for a six-person raft. You can choose longer tours that take you to different towns nearby as well. I'll leave a link below. You can also visit the Minorite Monastery at the edge of town. The gardens are free, and the museum, church, and chapel can be entered for a fee. There's a bakery open every morning, and they host craft workshops to educate people on medieval crafts such as leatherworking, glassmaking, and blacksmithing. The schedule on their website hasn't been updated since 2020, but it's something to look for while you're there. Moving on to some food and drink recommendations. Here are some spots I have saved on my map. We've got this place, which is a little bit outside of town, but looks like it has a very good view and is cheap. This place I have marked as a good lunch spot. The Tavern of the Two Maries is supposed to have very good traditional food. We ate dinner here one night in a medieval basement. We made sure to make a reservation ahead of time. We went to this bar during my study abroad days, and back then it was cash only and you could not take any photos inside. I can't say what it's like today. Restaurant 99 for burgers and burritos. We went here for another dinner, making a reservation beforehand, and we were delighted with the live music. We got whatever the waiter recommended and the dumplings were super good. I would highly recommend this place. The Travel Hostel is said to have the best fried cheese. Here is a gypsy bar and restaurant that we went to. The live music was really fun. And this cafe and wine bar is supposed to have very good breakfast. 
A quick note on shopping. There are a couple cute souvenir stores in the Old Town, but one thing to look out for in particular is Moldavite, a rare gemstone found in this region only. The Moldavite glass is said to have formed 15 million years ago, and you can buy it today in all sorts of jewelry. There is a Moldavite museum and shop in the town's center. Let's talk about day trips real quick. There are a lot of day trips you can take from Chesky Krumlov considering its location near the Austrian and German borders. Here are a few that are close by and still within the country. I have personally visited the Chesky Budovice and the Budweiser Budvar factory. It's not the same as American Budweiser and they hold tours in English usually once a day. Tours last around an hour, include a beer tasting, and cost about $10 a person. Here are some more day trips I have saved on my map, but I haven't been there personally. I'll leave all the links below. First is the Maidenstone, which is a quick 20-minute drive from Chesky Krumlov. There are medieval castle ruins and a nice place to hang out and enjoy nature. This castle is a 35-minute drive away. It is said to be the most beautiful castle in all the Czech Republic. There are several tours you can take that range in price. This is a, another UNESCO heritage town about two hours away. About a 20 minute drive if you want more nature is this mountain with the oldest stone observation tower in the country. Here's another castle you can visit, although I think it's been closed since 2020. This abbey was first founded in the year 1259. A tour will take you through the abbey church, several chapels, an art gallery, and some lovely looking libraries. Well, there's our little guide to Chesky Krumlov. We hope this helps you plan your perfect trip and make sure to leave any of your recommendations in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more European itineraries coming soon. Till next time. Bye.